Okay. Okay, hey guys, uh, it's Strife. I'm the stupid guy that organized this whole thing. And uh, we are gonna play Tourist Take Dan War in Colombia. One of the lesser known uh, city interactive games. We've already seen one city interactive game in the presence of the Royal Marine Commandos, and we're gonna have three more at least. Um, so there's not much to say about this game. It's mostly a running simulator. There's a few skips, but uh, yeah, you'll see. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna start in three, two, one, go. So we are in Colombia and we kill terrorists. That's pretty much the only thing about this story that makes sense. Sorry, I was walking in the wrong direction. Everything is fine. Um, just hoping the timer started. Okay, the timer started. Perfect. So, uh, what's to say about this game? Uh, this game is really well coded. The AI is absolutely fantastic. Nope, it's not actually. You got pranked. Uh, the AI is absolutely atrocious, which is good. It, it, it's good for us, you know. It's like, I, I'm not gonna. Okay, stop lagging game, please. I'm not gonna whine about the fact that the enemies just can't hit us at all. As you can see, I'm really not losing health. And every enemy in this game drops uh, drops health packs. So yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of fine. There's a few uh, weapons that can actually kill us. And that's uh, mainly uh, mounted guns and uh, vehicles in general. There's a few tanks, you, you just can't take them head on, like that's not happening. Uh, I haven't run this game in a week and I've done like five runs of this, so I'm probably gonna get lost at some point, which is okay, you know, like it doesn't really matter. I put my uh, estimate at one hour four or 30, the last one hour 30 run I did was with five deaths in it. So yeah. Uh, yeah, the sniper doesn't one shot by the way. Uh, I kind of forgot about this. I don't know why I have the sniper in my hand. But the uh, shotgun is a sniper, so you know, it doesn't matter. All right. Yeah, you're supposed to do stuff. Uh, mostly the game doesn't care if like if you don't uh, do stuff you're supposed to. There's a few triggers, however, that he'll ask me to hit. Uh, otherwise, I just it's not that I can't finish most missions. It's just that uh, there's a either an invisible wall or stuff like that. Uh, the reason why this game is so long is because it actually has 16 missions, and three of those are literally just. Uh, auto scrollers. So you being at the back of a car and shooting stuff. And those mission in those missions, your vehicle is actually uh, indestructible. So you can just wait, and nothing will happen at all. Like literally, you will complete the mission without ever firing a shot. So yeah, we'll see that a bit later. It's fun. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I discovered this game while trying to do actually uh, trying to run other uh, terrorist takedown games, and I realized that uh, th this game had a weird, very weird. Uh, yeah, I forget that from the game. That's okay. Had a weird like the series terrorist takedown. Uh, people knew about three of them, but there's actually two more that were made in a very old engine. I don't actually know which engine it's made on exactly, but it's coded in Java, so yeah. And, um, you know, it's something. It's it's something alright. It's, it's not that great. It's not that bad. Enemies are really dumb, but, you know, it's it's okay. Dumb enemies is a, is a thing. So I'm gonna plan to charge on this car. Car is gonna explode. Okay, now I can go through the bridge. 
You can actually buck the car, but it can kill you, so don't do that. Well, it's a, it's a good language, but you know, for games, uh, you know, there's this game where you build blocks and stuff. Uh, not really great, you know. It's like, yeah. Hello, Mambi. I'm watching the chat on my phone right now because I can't use my split screen in this game because this game actually doesn't actually cage your mouse. So if I go too far to the left with my split screen, well, I just click on my other screen and then the game is like, oh, well, uh, yeah, fuck that. So yeah, it's going to be really chill for the most part. There's a few skips here and there. But mostly it's going to be a lot of uh, running and uh, and gunning, and yeah, there's no like there's only one running speed. So yeah, uh, all right, mission one. Uh, as I said, there's 60 missions, so strap yourself on. Uh, mission two is the Hacienda. We're actually going to revisit most of the maps of the game because I didn't really have an idea on how to make the game progress otherwise. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, we're gonna skip like most of this map uh, by doing a few skips. Um, I'm gonna save a lot, and there's no auto save in this game, so there's no like level save or anything like that. So yeah, gonna get this charge, gonna plant it on the door. We're gonna kill this man, kill this man over there because it's gonna be a pain later. Okay, explosives don't do much damage to us. Like they do a bit of damage. So you can see varies auto saves, but they uh, kill uh, like they erase each other. So it's not really useful. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna save, then we're gonna jump here, here, kill this guy. I'm gonna save again because I don't want to fall. Okay, now we're gonna go here. And then we're gonna jump over this barrel. Uh, please, please, game. No, mm, wrong side. That's okay. Oh, come on! Game is really, uh, really annoying uh, on this kit. Okay, no, ah! Yeah, uh, the only kind of damage that is really annoying is full damage. So, yeah, be prepared. I'm gonna save now. And then I'm gonna trigger the end. Uh, right here, I think. Where's, it? Where's the end? Here. Uh, you can actually die from the car, so I was uh, very careful. And yeah. Alright, so that's uh, mission two done. <coughs> All right, so this is a hostage. <laughs> this is a hostage rescue. Uh, the mission is uh, half broken, let's say. Like I, I can skip a few things, but I can't skip the entire mission. I still need to bring the hostages back. Why? I, I have no idea. Uh, I still literally have no idea. So you're supposed to be really stealthy here. Uh, we we won't be stealthy. Now, I'm sorry to tell you that, but. We won't be stealthy. Um, mainly because uh, it's it's slow, you know, it's, it's stealth is slow. Just gonna do a manual save right here. Uh, here. Because the game can crash really often and quick saves can get corrupted. So we're gonna uh, go up to this ladder. Ladders are really great, by the way. I'll show a, big tri a magic trick after that. And then we're gonna ignore this uh, whole taking the outpost by just, you know, jumping and crashing through the, the window, because it's apparently a window. And we skip the whole first objective of the game. Uh, I mean, as a mission. Phew, you die. They're, all the enemies are named Pedro, by the way. This is not racist. 
uh, it is the truth. We just jump through this window, take the C4, jump back up. Uh. All right, we kill those two. We plan the explosives. We stay a bit far because although explosives don't do too much damage to us, taking three damage is not a great idea. I'm going to kill quite a few enemies uh, on my way there because the hostages can die and will die if I don't kill enough enemies on the way. So yeah. Also, you may have seen it uh, on the second level, but you can just kill your, uh, your friends in this game for ammo and health. And they'll tell you to stop shooting your friends. But, you know, we don't really care. Uh, we'll just keep shooting our friends when we need it. Alright, let's get in. We kill this guy, kill this guy. I say kill this guy. We free those hostages by just looking at them. And then that this guy will kill them if possible. Yes. Alright. So now we're going to go back through... Uh, there's going to be a few more enemies that spawn normally later, later in that, not in this building exactly, but... Alright, so now we're basically racing back to the start of the map. And if we do that fast enough, our hostages won't die and we'll be good. So yeah, that's our allies. Uh, they're kind of dumb, but that's okay. And see, this this door was supposed to be opened by uh, by by a, a, your friendly vehicle once you clear the checkpoint, but it's not, so they can't pass. So yeah, uh, that's not. And that's the hostage mission, hostage uh, rescue mission done. Yeah, all right, mission three done. Uh, and we're already pretty far in the time. Um, mission 4 is the first other scroller. Uh, I'm gonna try a fair fun glitch, I guess you could call it. It's not really a glitch, but uh, it is fun. I'm just gonna show it now. There's a move that's not useful, but you can slide on the ground by just jumping and crouching while in the air. And so we're gonna jump on the front of the truck, and yeah. Uh, if you want to take a drink, uh, now's the time, because uh, there's nothing to do. We're going to plant two charges in the whole of this, and yeah, that's it. I'm a truck. Hello, Billy. Every American in this game is named Billy. Uh, it is 100% accurate. As you can see, I don't take damage from most weapons because I am a super American man. Just gonna kill this guy because fuck him. So we're gonna blow up the two bridges uh, behind us. Uh, I'll need to go to the back of the truck to get the demo charges though. So that's a thing. Oh, I get. I take the demo charges through the roof. Well, I mean, they're not G they're not even GI, you know, they're just uh, random boys. All right, Joe. Okay, we call him Joe. That's fine. All right, let's go. Chop chop. I can't do it on the first fa uh, third phase, sadly, but that's okay. Uh, I probably won't have enough battery for my whole run, so I'm gonna plug in my phone now. Since I got so much time. Yeah. Uh, how do I do this so I can see it without, you know? Okay, like that. That's fine. So yeah. So you don't take that much from most. Uh, it's Crisis 4. It's a new Crisis. It got released uh, three days ago. And I really wanted to show it off since it's such a bad game. 
Uh, actually, uh, every object that's under the truck gets picked up by you, so I get some first aid kits in the way. But yeah, I don't take damage. I am a truck. I am invincible. Okay, autosave. We're nearing this is the second bridge. As you can see, this is the same map uh, as the first time. But you know, we just reuse maps basically every time. Uh, I think in total there's like seven maps and six of them get reused or something like that. All right, sorry. Uh, I'm supposed to shoot those guys. Uh, you forgot about that. So yeah. Uh, Great, great gameplay. Very interactive. What? You want to die? Of course. Die. <clears throat> Joe is still here. Joe is fine. So we're going to blow up this bridge too, because why not? And sadly, because of the position of the track when he stops, we can't get back uh, on the front of the track. We'll have to get back on the back of the track. But it's the same. Uh, we can just jump here and crouch, and we can't get hit by anything. Uh, however, I'll be vigilant because we are nearing the end of the mission, as you can see, and we need to finish the mission by running. <coughs> so that was the first mission, uh, the first auto scroll mission. Uh, as you can see, it's it's a great game. Clearly, uh, IGN 10 out of 10 would uh, we'll play it again. All right, so that's uh, probably the longest, shittiest mission of the game, but that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to skip it. Might soft the mission, but you know, whatever. Okay. See to the left. Yeah! All right. Take a take the sniper rifle in the back. We're gonna need it at some point. Then run. I'm gonna get destroyed by this vehicle if I don't take care. So I get in there. I get everything. And now we're gonna try to skip. Uh, it's kind of it's it, it's easy to do, but it might soft the mission. I'm not sure. Because uh, of the objectives, of the way the objectives are there. No, don't do that. Why would you do that? Okay, that's fine. I can still do that. And then I can jump there. All right. So basically, we just went around the map. Uh, there is a lot of uh, enemies going there. We're going to try and get on the second floor of this house. For that, we need to jump. Uh, on an invisible wall here. Nope. It's gonna take a few tries. Uh, I was on it, but then I was off it. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. I'm on it. All right. So now we're gonna break this window and jump crash inside. If I'm allowed to do it. What the Okay, this this the vehicle isn't supposed to see me. That's really weird. Never had this bug before. Come on! Alright, finally. So now we are be behind the enemy spawns. Um I'm gonna destroy those. Uh this is going to be where the last uh, boss will spawn, sort of. Uh, and basically, we have to clear the whole, this whole house. So we're going to wait for enemies to spawn. Uh, someone spawned on me. That's okay. I don't mind him. Uh, yeah. Where the game might break is on the second object, uh, the third objective. What the? Okay. So basically, we need to kill all of those because I might get soft locked inside of the house 
It's a possibility. I normally have a safe, uh, a safety save for it, uh, although I might have forgotten to create it, but you know, whatever. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, and we spawn back there. So now I'm gonna get back out of the house. All right. All right, great. So I'm not soft locked yet. Great. Uh, great, great, great. So now I need to kill all of the enemies coming in front of the house. These enemies have some problems with locating me. Uh, hello, sir. Hello, sir. Here. All right, so I'm gonna try and yeah, okay. So we got the first objective. This should work. Uh, this is my spawn inside the wall. That's okay. He get back out. He's a big boy. Basically, this mission is kill as many enemies as you can. Uh, kill all the enemies. And I just hope that the spawns won't bug, because that could technically happen. Uh, sir, please, will you die, sir? Thank you, thank you, sir. Enemies. All right, there's us two. So now there is a second wave of enemies approaching. This one we can't really spawn kill because the spawns are really like uh, all over the place basically. You, you die. I can't kill this guy. I need to wait until it goes further. Um, okay. As you can see, it's a uh, very interactive and great gameplay. Uh, totally. Not repetitive. Uh, it's you know it's great. It, it's absolutely great. <coughs> yes, I know you're going. I'm going the wrong way, you idiot. So now we're just waiting for our doors to open because uh, we can't blow them up. We can't do anything like that. And basically, I need to kill all the enemies until yes, this happens. All right, we didn't soft lock the game, guys, on the longest mission. That's great. All right, kill this guy, kill this guy. We need to kill everyone in the house, but especially one guy upstairs. But we need to kill everyone else because otherwise the guy upstairs won't spawn. Hello, oh, goodbye. Uh, uh, shit. Can you die, please? Thank you. And yeah, uh, as you can see, this is a boss fight because he has more health than the others. He's dead. Uh, let's go down there. Uh, and yeah, we're done with the cocker house. Great. Woo! Uh, mission five is is done, and now we have um, another uh, another auto scroll mission that we cannot skip. I try to skip this mission quite a lot. Uh, I can't get to the end, but the problem is, as long as the truck doesn't move, you can't uh, you can't. You, you can't move on, basically. Like, you, you, the, the trigger doesn't fall. Which is very sad, because, you know, sad face. Alright, demo charge here, demo charge here, and let's get to the truck. Alright. We're gonna get a stationary cannon. We're gonna save. And let's go for the most annoying of the in the game. Uh, wait, where are they again? I can't remember where the fuck they are. Oh, left side, my bad. I can't listen, apparently. I can't listen. But I can see the stationary cannon doesn't, doesn't do much. Uh, I mean, it's strong, I guess, technically. 
I'm just shooting it because why not? I mean, I have nothing else to do at this point. Okay. No, I'm gonna blow up the barricade first, then build the snipers. That's, that's how I roll. Ah! I forgot! I forgot that the truck leaves! Alright, so that's where I have no choice but to kill everything, basically. Especially those guys. No, that's not a bad. There's uh, this trigger, I don't even have to trigger. Here. Alright. Alright. Uh, where's some enemies? Where the fuck are you? Enemy! Hello? Where? I can't find the enemy! I'm lost! Okay, let, let me let me first trigger this. Alright. Oh, you're here. Okay. But there are snipers somewhere, and I can really. Uh, I never can find them. It's really annoying. Oh, now he's active. Okay. Okay, you're dead. Alright. Okay, nice. Sorry about that. Uh, these enemies are really hard to see, you know, they're in camo and everything. Oh, he's here. Okay, got the tank. Gonna kill a few more fuckers. Okay, shit. Shit! No! No! Don't leave! Truck! Come back here! Truck! Truck help! Oh, fuck. Alright. So it is actually kinda hard to get on the truck. I I'm not kidding. It's like kinda hard. And the problem is if the truck goes too fast, uh, well, you, you pretty much die. Yeah. Yeah, we're done with this mission. Uh, yeah, like if the truck uh, leaves, in the, like it's too far ahead of you, basically you die. You you, you just you just get killed. <laughs> All right. Uh, on this mission, it's not a skip. It's like I guess on our side by the developers, it's not really skipping anything. Uh, so, I'm gonna show up the map. As you can see, there's multiple paths. We're gonna try to get take this path right here. But it's really dangerous because there's like a shit ton of enemies. But if you stick to the right side, generally, we don't kill you. So, yeah. I'm gonna take this path for now. It's technically the fastest. Don't change much, to be honest. But, uh, So yeah, uh, we had a game with fantastic music but really bad gameplay before. And now we have a game with absolutely no music and bad gameplay. How is that for a garbage game? Uh, this. That's like the obvious shortcut that's even marked on the map. And you're like, why is it even a shortcut? Why isn't it the only way? Oh, uh, I thought I was outside the uh, hitbox of the truck. Yeah, a vehicle, a vehicles one shot you. They one shot everything. You can technically roll on any enemy and one shot it. So. But sadly, you can't control vehicles in this game, and you won't be able to do it either in Terrorist Tech Time 3, because that would require 
some time and effort, and CI uh, didn't have any of it. All right. Uh, just remembering where I'm going. Yes, that's the right path. I'm gonna go in the bushes right here, around here. This is literally a walking simulator. This is from before they had the idea of like, you know, putting a uh, running in a game. So this is the biggest area that you get killed on. Except if you stick to the right side in the bushes, for whatever reasons, enemies don't show you. And it's not stealth, like there's no stealth in this game, it doesn't happen. So yeah, this uh, saves around 30 seconds from going zero away. Can you die please, thank you. Alright, um, we're good. And here. That's the end of the game. And now, guess back where we come back. Guess where we come back. We are coming back to the hacienda, but this time we are uh, defending it. Uh, this mission is actually difficult. Uh, it's where I can technically lose the most time because. Uh, well, it's a siege, and there's a lot of armor trucks doing a shit ton of damage. So if I'm not careful, I'm gonna die, uh, and I don't want to die, like, really not. But I'm not going to say much, I'm going to try to focus a bit to make the mission as short as possible. Um, can't promise anything though, because there are times where uh, the game will just say fuck you. And I will pretty much won't be able to do anything and die. Alright, that's done. Basically, um, armored enemies, like trucks and stuff like that, get take random amounts of, um, of like attacks to die. Like this truck, this kind of truck, this is supposed to die in one hit, but here it took three. And some of the bigger tanks can die in one hit sometimes for reasons that I couldn't find out. All right, so that's the first part done. Um, Uh, yeah. Now, enemies are basically getting in there. We're gonna kill them all. Because otherwise, they're gonna be a pain in the future. Uh, here. Alright. Alright. Uh, storming the requirement, we know. Uh, we're gonna trigger this group of enemies right here first uh, because otherwise they're gonna come back to to back to, to bite us in the butt I actually forgot to pick up the AT-80 which is gonna be a real problem so please please give it to me nice all right all right uh, so it's messy Jack let's clean it up right now so yeah, uh, our hero is named Jack, apparently, uh, and it's supposed to be like a big badass. Shit, uh, forget who is right here. All right, that's the first uh, vehicle done. I basically need to clean up every enemy in this zone. Uh, I'm gonna trigger this part back here. That's weird, I have no objective, where are we? 
No, I heard a shot. I heard a shot for the fire. The enemies should already be coming in over there. That's weird. Huh. Never had that before. Not surprising, I didn't run that much, but uh, I think I went a bit too fast. I killed the enemies a bit too fast, so... Oh no, you're the guy. So if I come back over there, logically, it should spawn the whole mess. No? No? There should be allies there, that's what I don't understand. What if I go over there? Hmm. Uh, that's, that, that's very strange, actually. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's find out what single enemy is holding the entire game back. That's pretty much what is happening, I think. Maybe there's one guy. Oh! Hello there. He spawned on me, I think. Oh, that's that. Oh, okay. So there's an entire group within this poem. Hello, sir. Okay. Well, I'll know now. As you can see, weapons are shooting by themselves. Because you're not supposed to arrive this fast. Please die. Thank you. It's gonna be this guy. Okay, okay, these guys, then there's gonna be this truck that I can't stop normally. Oh yeah, I can. See, those, for whatever reason, take, like, how many shots, I don't know. Wait, that's weird. I've never had it not die. Oh, okay, that's done. Took, like, six shots, that, that's, yeah. What are you shooting at? There is nothing left. Is there something left? Is there something left? Oh, those guys. Oh. Uh, hello there. Oh, uh, don't tell me he's uh, nah. Don't tell me he's a guy supposed to get in there. Huh. That's, that would be absolutely stupid and brilliant at the same time. I'm trying to shoot him from the back. Uh, I think I have a save before that, so or the worst I can just reload. Ah! I'm gonna reload, cause that's super weird. I've never had that. Alright. Please don't get in front of me. You moron. I think he killed the first truck too fast so he couldn't get into position. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him do that. Alright, because the second truck, yeah. Uh, basically, the second truck, I can't kill it. It's the scripted truck. That, um, yeah. Just comes in here and triggers the rest of the map. So yeah. And here, enemy spawn. Voila. So yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great game. Uh, oh, sorry. That's my allies. That's my enemy. As you can see, the shotgun is uh, a sniper. So yeah. So now the enemies are gonna basically uh, come up here and then in front of the building again. So we're gonna need to come back to the front. Oh yeah, those are my friends. Oh yeah, uh, I need shit. I need the uh, ammo. 
Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, hello, sir. Please die. Okay, this is done. This is a bit faster than going all the way around. And now we use this gun uh, to kill the tank that just came in. Okay. Uh, I can't remember if there's anything else in okay. the I think I need to kill this guy. Yeah! Okay. I don't think there's any over. Oh, yeah, over there. Oh, here. Okay, the trucks were just blocked. Okay. Fair. All right, um, so you didn't know, but you have to go through to, to the front gate and uh, Oh, this guy was alive, okay. I thought he was dead. Let's hope I don't die here, because if I die here, it's going to be annoying. Okay! Woo! Uh, we're done. We're done with the most... Uh, uh, not the most annoying mission, but one of the most annoying missions. <clears throat> Alright, uh, that's another running mission. Uh, another um, other square mission, my bad. And as you can see, it's the same map again. Oh no, it's not another squirrel. It's just uh, this map. Okay. And yeah, I just spawn in front of you. I'm gonna be very careful. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, I think I'm the. No, I can. I can. I can. It might not be faster, however. Yeah, I can't remember if I try because there's more enemies on the way back. I'm just gonna take the slow way. Oh yeah, there's this thing. If you uh, press uh, your mouse button while saving, you'll like end up shooting uh, until you click again, even though you only click once. So this is the way that I avoided uh, when I went uh, on the other side uh, last time. It's a bit a bit a bit slower, but at the same time, there's no uh, tanks waiting for me, so I'm gonna take it. <laughs> so yeah, it's said less than that. It's said like ten seconds. Yeah. I thought the other way was longer. You know. Just gonna cut here, because why take the entire turn when you can just cut corners? Uh, 42, yeah, we're fine, we're totally fine in time. So Jack is, uh, as we all know, a Labrador, so he can sense trouble. And it's not Campesinos. Uh, waiting behind the budget yeah so we're gonna take the shortcut uh, the evident shortcut marked on the map as a shortcut yes jack thank you jack you, you are very very uh, attentive to, to details hello you're dead thank you very much for your life You're gonna stop this right this instant, right this instant. Die. I don't want to get shot in the butt. Getting shot in the butt is a really, uh, you know, sensitive issue with me. Yeah. 
What about it, Sui? What don't you like about this fucking trash? Apart from the fact that it is trash. And that it's the point of the entire marathon. But don't worry, there's worse. There's CT3 coming. And I know how much you hate that game. Alright, mission 9 successful. Um, we are... Uh, we are like two thirds of the way through. We still have seven missions to do. <clears throat> yeah, we're about to uh, play Royal Marines 0 0.5 and uh, TT3. The two games are right after that. Eh, that's, uh, that's a fair question, but I don't think so. Alright. So this is not actually an entirely auto-scrolling village, uh, mission. But basically, we are here and we have to get to this village, uh, and the fastest way is to stay on track. We could run all the way, but the fastest way is just to stay on track. Uh, so we're just gonna wait and, uh, you know, be like, oh yeah, very, very immersive gameplay. <laughs> and as you can see, the game is really well coded. Arbs don't clip, uh, like trees don't clip in. Sorry, I'm uh, mixing a bit of French uh, within my, I mean, I mean my English. But yeah, Terrorist Technion 3 is a much shorter game, a much more cancer game, because this is actually chilly. Uh, it's, it's, it's bad, but it's not hard. Uh, Terrorist Technion 3 is bad for, whole, for all their own reasons. And we're going to save work a lot, and probably crash a few times. But yeah, even though uh, Terrorist Technion 3 is much more stable than... Uh, than uh, our first game, the Royal Marines Commander. So yeah, the shadows are kind of buggy in this level, but uh, it's like, yeah. As you can see, uh, aiming with a, a mounted gun, very useful. Really, where are they? Uh, oh, them. Well, I'm just gonna stay like that. I knew. Yeah, we're done. Just gonna take a save there. Technically, we could go down there, but there's a big ass invisible wall there. So it's not worth it. Hello, Mr. Helicopter. They're really bad with time, actually. I say it's your one minute, but uh, yeah. Gonna jump over his fence, kill those guys, jump over this fence. Jumping fences is hard, man. Feels bad, man. We're gonna get invisible link over there. Uh, we're gonna get explosives to explode the door because we sadly can't uh, get in the building otherwise. In the building where the boss is. Kill a few of those guys because otherwise they can do damage. As you can see, I have the charge in my inventory. I'm gonna kill one of those to get uh, health back. Otherwise, I would probably die over there. I'm actually gonna get one more med kit here. Great. Okay, planting explosives. We need to kill everyone in this house. Alright. 
Where is the bus? Here. No, that wasn't the bus. This was a bus. This was a bus. Great. <coughs> Alright. I'm gonna jump on the truck. I can't jump on the front, otherwise the truck won't move. Uh, Mister here is inside the truck. He's fine. Don't worry, he's not fine anymore. And yeah, we're done with the mission. What? 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 Okay, what the fuck happened? Did I instant kill or something? Did I get instant killed or something? What happened? Okay. Uh, that never happened before. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, they're Mafia Cartel bosses, they're not hard to kill, they're just hard to get to them. Uh... Oh no, they shot down the video drone, but we still have the map, because, you know, why not. So this is a long running map, again, because uh, why not, you know, running is running cool. You know, running is good, do, do, do it kids, like, uh, you know, uh, 25 minutes of uh, sport, it can be running, just running. It's really good for your health, really good for your mental health too. Don't hesitate to run. Like Jack does, all the time. He never stops running. You're dead, you're dead, okay. So this was a Maya ruin apparently in Colombia, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. As you can see, this is a great game. Uh, uh, Terrorist takedown through, yeah. Uh, the main problem will be that I die approximately 10,000 times faster than in this game. So, yeah, and a VII can decide to either be uh, a little shit and kill you very, very fast, or they can decide to do nothing. That's, that's also a possibility. Uh, yeah. So I skipped this entire camp by just running on the side, you know, like, why would I care? And then I go there. To make dick care. As always, vehicles are our greatest enemy. As you can see, the map is really well done. Uh, the mini map, as you can see, is not bugged at all on the right side. That's because at the end of the map, there's nothing to show. So they, the texture just bugs out and uh, doesn't show anything. Except this big stretched out texture. All right, that was mission uh, 11. Uh, mission 12, we get into uh, an airport uh, and we're gonna steal some stuff, blow up some planes, and yeah, uh, that's, that's it. Oh no, no, we don't blow up the planes yet, do we? Yeah, we do, we do, we blow up the planes, yeah. Forget, because there's two missions in the... There's mission 12 and there's mission 15, that are both inside of uh, this uh, airport map, uh, but just not on the same side. We're gonna save again, because I don't want to have uh, a save that's like on the other side, uh, on the other mission. All right, we're gonna get demo charges that were sitting in a container 
for us to find. Gonna go here, gonna blast our way into the air control tower. Just wait it out. Hello boys, how are you doing tonight? Yeah, I killed us too, yeah. 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 Alright, don't worry about it. Gonna take the documents. Uh, oh, I'm about that, that's okay. Alright. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, that's happened, so I'm like... Don't... Um, Alright. So there can be a bug that happens that uh, deloads the uh, demo charger. Uh, it's not happening. Yes, great. That's fantastic. No, I'm not using the matching gun. Uh, I'm gonna run. Here, I'm gonna do this. Find the demo charge here. Try to duplicate demo charges. Didn't work, sadly. Got the bug. So as you can see, the uh, place where I need to put the demo charge just disappeared. And there's nothing I can do about it, really. It's just sometimes it happens. Okay, that's really weird. Uh, I'm probably gonna wait a bit. It's probably because the game considers I'm going too fast or something. Why is it there a gun? What? Wait, what? Game, please. What the fuck is happening? I've never seen that. I've actually never seen that. The demo charge thing just disappears. Uh, probably gonna have to restart the entire level at this point. What can I do this? Maybe I don't know. Oh fuck! Let's restart the mission. So yeah, uh, this happens sometimes. Uh, I hope I won't be overestimate. I shouldn't be. I'll say uh, the the last missions aren't that long, but yeah. So I'm gonna be really careful, but the problem is there's nothing much I can do if it happens. Demo is doors! Hello, I want a pizza, please. Okay. Okay, got the documents. I'm gonna be very careful now. While doing this. Uh, okay, so this works. I'm gonna try to at least use this once. I've never needed to, but maybe that's a thing. Like, maybe I need to activate that. I don't know. At this point, I'm kind of clueless because this is really weird. It seems like the map just changes. Okay, well, this time it worked for, for now. Uh, but don't hold your breath because there's a second uh, thing that could happen, which is uh, another demo charge despawning. Okay, thank you for your health, because otherwise that would have been kind of tricky. I'm gonna be careful, kill this guy up here. Okay, kill this guy, kill this guy. Okay, I got the demo charge. So this shouldn't bug. Like this demo charge can despawn and then you can't finish a mission. Uh, a lot of things that can, that can happen. Okay, great. Uh, I'm gonna get some health and then I'm gonna run. Uh, they can pro they, they can kill me if they're lucky enough. 
when I'm gonna try to kill them as much as possible so they don't stop me. Uh, okay, got the first aid kit from a tree tree person. Tree person is nice. He gave me first aid kits. <coughs> Alright, and I get to the edge of the map, and I'm done. Well, uh, that was that was not nice, but you know, we got it. That's okay. Alright, mission 13. Uh, I need to find an helicopter crashed. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, and then I need, then on mission 14, I need to find demo charges that were scattered around the jungle for whatever reason, I don't know. <laughs> so that's a mission. I didn't want to do that, that's okay. That's a mission uh, that is really annoying because there is a one really short path that you're not supposed to be able to take it. Alright. I did it again! Ah, uh, stupid. Because you automatically switch to the weapons you pick up. Uh, so I'm going to do the uh, strat I did before, which is picking up the rocket launcher through that like that. Okay, I'm going to try to... no. I didn't get it, that's okay. Uh, okay. Alright, so let's see if I can do it. If I can do it in more than five tries, uh, I'll, uh, I'll just stop. Because this is like really, really painful. Basically, I need to kill most of the enemies, uh, most of these, normally, but I don't because I'm really bad. Oh wait, uh, I took the wrong way. I'm stupid. That's okay. I'm, I'm going to take this way. Because uh, I disabled most of the APC by just not going the right way, so that's okay. They, I don't need to kill them. Just going to go around. Uh, I don't know how I actually took the wrong way. I never took the wrong way, but that's okay. That's okay. Ah, uh, sorry for that, guys. That's, um... So all of these vehicles are supposed to be basically killing me, but since I didn't kill the first two, uh, the game, like, I don't know, takes time to spawn them or something. And so the APCs just don't shoot. Anyways. That's okay. Uh, I lost like maybe 20 seconds. Something like that. And guess what? Next I'm going to have to do the same map the other way around. So yeah. So I'm not going to eliminate the resistance, I'm going to avoid using rockets as much as possible. I think I can avoid this one, yeah, there you go. And then he can't shoot me, because I'm behind him. I mean, he can shoot me, but he doesn't do that much damage, and then I'm over the bridge. I need to shoot this one, because he's too, uh, too much in front of me, and I wouldn't be able to survive, basically. Gonna kill those, make them go away from the mounted guns that are the only thing that can kill me right now. And then I need to run to the edge of this map. Uh, you'd feel like I can't, I could skip some of this. I can't. Uh, I can't for a reason that is that there is invisible walls and death barriers pretty much everywhere. And while I found a way to do a sort of dead man walking, the problem is you can't control your direction. Uh, you generally end up at the bottom 
of the, of the map and I'm able to drink it. Yay! Oh yeah, there's this bug. That's fun. I'm not actually aiming, but there's this bug with the uh, beast with the ATAD. Anyways, mission 13 is done. Uh, mission 14, we need to take up, uh, take some charges. I tried to skip this mission, I can't, uh, which is pretty sad because you need to have the entire count of uh, demo charges. Uh, can't do it otherwise. I am on time, 104, that should be more than enough for the last three missions, three or four. There might be actually 70 missions. I, I, I almost forget, that's okay. I mean, at least one of them is extremely short, so that's okay. We'll get through it, guys. Then we'll get to the cool stuff when we're done with Myrons, because Myrons aren't cool. Whoa. And then I get to eat, because I haven't eaten all day yet, so I'm getting really hungry. <laughs> okay, let's go. <clears throat> Uh, on this mission, for a reason unknown, you have extremely high movement speed. It's only for this mission that it's unexplainable. Like, I, I, I literally have no idea why they give you higher movement speed in this level. But, you know, I'm not gonna... I, I like it. If only we could put it on uh, other levels, that would be great, but we can't, so... We're gonna have to make do. I'm gonna get the explosives that are right here. Uh, yeah, no, that's what I remember. Sorry about that. Um, Okay. So yeah, Jack is talking to himself about the path in his stick. Because uh, it's really smart. And then the radio confirms saying, yes, you, you need to take lift. Killing a few enemies because they, uh, they can do damage over time and uh, don't want to die. Alright. Sir, please die. Gonna get those charges. Yay! There's actually a longer path on the if you took if you take right uh, first, which is really not worth it. But uh, it's interesting that they made multiple paths if you decided to not follow the obvious ones. But yeah, all of them are pretty much useless because they're all so slower. And yeah, apparently everyone in Colombia likes uh, you know being in water. But why not? I mean, who am I to judge? Gonna go over there. In total, I need 11 demolition charges, I think. So there's two more spawn going. And we need them for next mission to blow up. Uh, the entirety of the bad guys base, basically. <sighs> so there's a way to uh, basically get yourself stuck into corners and uh, jump like infinitely, you know, like jump higher than what you should, you should be able to. I haven't found a way to use it yet, but uh, maybe in the future. Who knows?
Is I ever pick up this game again after this marathon? Which is not true. Because I found the projects. So how are you guys doing in the in the chat? Uh, are you okay? I got stuck, that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna take the long way around. Uh, hello, hello. So uh, yeah, ladders are funny. But we can't exploit them, sadly. Alright. So we did basically a, 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 a jagged loop around the net. And we're gonna go back to the start uh, at this point. Uh, that's why I try to... Um, to skip over some invisible walls, which I managed to do, uh, and I managed to trigger the uh, like the start uh, the, the last fight, but uh, it doesn't complete basically, which is kind of sad. Hello, thank you. You're dead. This way is good. Shut the fuck up. Jack is being really annoying all the time, basically. But you know, he's uh, an American GI, he has to be annoying. Oh, sick is not good, man. Oh, okay. Sir, sir, please go down from that rock, please. Please, thank you. Just stay there. You die. Okay, yeah. 11 charges. Let's go back to the start. And, you know, the game doesn't even hide that you go back to the start. It's like, now to go back to where I started because I'm really it's really useful. Lol. I'm gonna go over there, kill this guy, kill this guy, kill this guy. I need to kind of clear uh, a bit of enemies to remove uh, an invisible wall that is uh, over there. Did I kill enough? Good question. I'm gonna see right now. Yes, I killed enough. Great. And yay! Okay, mission colors is the uh, mission 14. 14! Yes! Mission 14 is done. Um, we're getting to the almost the end of, uh, of, the, of the game. Uh, which uh, I know everyone is really happy it's going to be soon the end. So we're taking the same path we took last time, but the other way around. This is a really great game. Karotze? Why Karotze? Oh no, Katorze! Not ka not Karatze. Mission Katorze. Uh, all right. Let's go through all this. Time and time. Wow, well, I'm great. I'm fantastic. I'm done. Even. So I can't take the way on the right because there is a death plane, basically. It's not, it's not technically a death plane, but basically there is an APC that does double the, de the usual damage and that cannot be destroyed. So it's basically a de death plane because you can't hide. Because this game is really great, uh, as you all know by now, this game is great. I love this game. Hello, guy on the tree. You're dead, guy on the tree. 
It, it, honestly, the physics of this game is great. Like, it's it's almost flawless. It's great, but uh, yeah. You die. You, you didn't die. I say you die. Please. Please, game. Could you help me kill people? Alright. Almost the end of this mission already. Really fast. We're gonna get through this, guys, together. Uh, let's do some uh, breathing exercise. You're fine. You're fine. You're in a safe place uh, on the stream. And uh, we, we, we're soon done with this. To then get to a bigger and better cancer. No, actually, a sh much shorter and hopefully not horrible cancer. Uh, there's no more rat infestation in Paris. It doesn't exist. Yes. Okay. Now we're gonna blow up the airport, but a uh, different part of the airport. We blew up one part of the airport. Now we're blowing up everything else. Uh, sadly, there's no way to skip this mission. Uh, to skip uh, most of this mission either. So that's okay. We just need to basically run around uh, the whole map to put down the 11, 11 uh, bridge charges. It's really strange, I'm not hungry at all. But uh, it's a good thing, it's a really good thing, but I'm not hungry at all. Okay, let's go. Yes, press the option key to open the gate. Sold you. Sadly, we can't activate stuff through walls, so I have to get in this building. Uh, can I just skip blowing up this guy? Because why would I need to? Um, and the helicopter does it for me after that, anyways. Come on! Uh, these doors are like really, really annoying to use. Might seem like, uh, you know, a small thing, but uh, they block you a lot. Okay. Uh, second building to blow up. Basically, we're blowing everything up, as uh, any good American should. Yes, clear the glass zone, please. So, we're gonna go to the third building by using this ramp here. And then we're gonna kill everything, everyone in there. I not kill everyone in there. We really don't care about the people. We just want to blow shit up. Uh, so yeah, if you skip planting any of the other charges, uh, the the charge zones are just not active. Catch her up. You can't run, but you can't hide. No, it's not copyrighted at all. And now I'm running. Oh, hello, sir. Shit. Uh, I went out of the bedroom too fast, maybe? That's weird. A shooter. Uh, what happened? 
Oh, I need to be close enough so that I hear the thing explode, I guess. He's explode. Okay, I'm gonna reload because this charge is bugged. Uh, that's okay. I have a, a, a save right here. I went out of the room too fast, I think. Wait, I missed something. Oh, here. Forgot to was here earlier in the room. Can please blow up? What the fuck? Um. Okay, that that is something special. Because uh, both of the other charges have exploded. So what? Oh, I forgot another chart. Oh. 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 That might be the problem. Where's like another chart? Man. Oh, here. Oh, okay. That's why. That's just me being dumb. That's me being a dummy dummy. Alright, I'm running like hell. And boom. We're done, baby. Um, so that was a uh, terrorist takedown. Uh, mission 16, mission successful, yay. Um, so as you can see, there's no to be continued. I hope the timer stopped. Uh, timer didn't stop. That's that's great. Uh, I'm just gonna stop it manually. Uh, I don't know why it didn't stop. Okay, what the? Okay. All right. All right. Uh, yes, that is a world record indeed. Uh. Okay, uh, so that was the first terrorist take down, World Record on the, that's not actually the first terrorist take down, I tried to run the earlier terrorist take down, problem is they don't work on my PC and I couldn't find a way to make them more, uh, make them work. Uh, so we are gonna go on a quick break and we'll be back with terrorist take down 3 which is much shorter, thankfully.